It is an annual conference taking place in Munich on international uh, security policies, where over 350 uh, figures from 70 countries are getting together to discuss current and future challenges of, uh, of our globe in terms of security, and uh, they debate various issues. On an intellectual level, uh, the conference produces a report. Uh, this report is called the Munich Security Conference Report 2017, are focusing on three different themes. First one is post-truth, second one is post-West, and the third one is post-order. The post-truth aspect is focusing on uh, the immense power of what we call fake news and leaks that we're seeing in the media. We've seen in recent years and also we've seen it in the United States. So what they're saying is propaganda hasn't changed. Propaganda is an old instrument, but what has been added to that propaganda is technology, which is a way to dissemin uh, disseminate information and spread information in a very, very rapid manner. So that's essentially addressing today uh, the post-truth era. And the issue of post-West is talking about in today's world, we're having the rise of Asia, in particular China and Russia. And in today's order, things are shifting away from the West over to the East. And the post-order is really referring to the Western order that has been in place since 1945, uh, the Second World War. Is that changing? And if it is changing, how is it changing? Are we seeing the failure of international system or political structure or international order? And the second, third aspect is addressing that particular issue. We should care. Why? Because this was the first time the Trump team met with world leaders, whether it would be Angela Merkel in Germany and others. Uh, so it is important. Also, there were discussions about the future of uh, uh, Ukraine and Russia's influence in the broader uh, European region. There were also a lot of concerns about what's going to happen to commitments on NATO and issues about how the United States and China will work together or, frankly, will confront each other in Asia. There were many discussions about uh, uh, the future of the Middle East and how Arab partners with Israel are going to be confronting Iran and how Iran is trying to mitigate the friction. So we should care about all these issues. Like us that have lots of things that keep us up at night, world leaders also have lots of things that keep them up at night. So this platform was a great opportunity for them to address some of these issues. took this opportunity to speak, perhaps draw some red lines, talk about the way they are looking at the world. And also this was an opportunity for many nations and many figures to interact. But one of the most important was there was a lot of noise that we have heard because of all these concerns from Europe to immigration to terrorism to the future influence of Russia and also many others. But what's important is uh, we ought to be detecting the real signal from the noise.
we heard so much noise at Munich Security Conference. Many leaders, ministers, politicians uh, took various stands on various issues, discussed where they draw red lines, how they would work on mutual interests with other nations, or perhaps where they disagree. But putting all this noise aside, there was a real signal, and it did not come from any politician, world leader, or a figure that we'll see constantly in the media. Putting all that noise aside, perhaps one of the most important speeches that we've heard in Munich Security Conference came from Bill Gates. Bill Gates talked about the linkage between health security and international security and the fact that both of them are not mutually exclusive and we should be thinking about them. In fact, we should be engaging in wider dialogue when it comes down to these two issues. Mr. Gates made the case for building the next generation of weapons, the weapons that are going to be fighting diseases. Weapons including vaccines, drugs and diagnostics are the most important aspect of linking the future of health security to international security. So ignoring all the noise that we have heard at Munich Security Conference just last week, perhaps it's time for us to pay attention to what is the real signal the linkage between health security and international security. The Myth of the Strong Leader by Archie Brown. In fact, Brown could not have predicted that his book will be so relevant uh, to the election of Donald Trump in the United States and upcoming elections in Europe. This Oxford University scholar has studied the political leadership good, bad, and ugly for more than 50 years. In fact, Brown shows that the leaders who make the biggest contributions to history and humanity generally are not the ones we perceive to be strong leaders. Instead, they tend to be the ones who collaborate, delegate, and negotiate. And recognize that no one person can or should have all the answers. <laughs>